Ready? Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Mikey Zena here in old Drury, San Augustine, Florida. It's been, we've had some dreary weather. But any, anyhow, I hope everyone had a, uh, a very Merry Christmas. And uh, I'm gonna, finally going to get back to down get back to business on, uh, on my net making. Uh, it's uh, the last video we did. Remember I told you that I had to, was going to have cataract surgery, which I had, and it went well. And uh, I'm having trouble getting used to not wearing glasses. <laughs> I keep reaching to adjust my glasses and they're not there. Anyway, with all, with all of that said, what I want to do today, I want to get back to basics really because I keep getting uh, phone calls and, and emails uh, with questions that's on covered on numerous videos that we have uh, online but somehow they don't find them <laughs> I don't I don't know about I, I don't mind you know I, I love the questions and I said before there's no questions is a, is a stupid question and, and uh, but anyway I, I don't I'll cover this stuff what I want to cover today is uh, basically is I want to go over the two knots that's that's been an issue uh, <clears throat> and what I want to do I'm gonna, I'll demonstrate them in a minute but I'll talk about them right quick uh, I run across this, I don't know if I've ever showed you this or not, but I run across uh, this diagram. This is a diagram that came out of a book. The first uh, printing of this thing was hold, hold steady. 1771. This is, and you won't find it anywhere, what they call it. This is, this definitely is the Flying Dutchman. I mean, you can see if you look at it close, you see the guy's hand, you see the line going around his little finger, he's making the loop, and uh, that is, but I, I don't know what they call that thing. I, uh, my take on it, you finished? My take on it is, uh, when, you know, I was taught, you know, it was, that, was, that was the English knot. And then the other knot, the old knot, is a Spanish knot. Spanish knot now has been around for thousands of years. I mean, thousands of years, ten thousand years, or more. Uh, that the uh, uh, early, early, early folks uh, uh, that made uh, nets and made bags to carry stuff in. But anyway, uh, so what I want to do is I, I got my little cheat sheet here. If I don't look at this, I, I, I know what I want to do, but I forget about it. Okay, we're going to, we're going to talk about, I want to talk about the, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, knots. And what I make is, a, is it's called a 14 wide net. That is, you start, you have 42 meshes around, and you have, you'll have 14 wide, and we start out putting them three apart, you're going to, it's going to be, uh, three meshes apart, 14 is going to come out to 42. Uh, when you finish that row, that first row, you're going to tie 41. And when you tie that tail into your, your, your line off your needle, when you tie that, completing that circle, remember, uh, handmade nets are nothing but it's a continuous circle, no seams. Uh, when you tie that together, that's number 42. Okay, we're straight on that. Now you're going to knit, uh, you want, you can knit eight plain rows. That is eight rows with no widenings. Uh, then when you start your widenings, your ninth row is going to be a widening row. And I'm going to demonstrate how you, what I'm talking about when I say you, uh, when you start that ninth row, uh, you, 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 you tie one mesh, then you put in a widening, then it's three and a widen, three and a widen, three and a widen, all the way around. It's going to come out just perfect for you. Okay. Now, uh, now another thing I want to stress, and if this is my, if this is a suggestion. You do what you want to do. I got no control over what you do. I strongly suggest that you learn. Uh, if you're just learning to make a net, you have no idea. Uh, and you, you just want to learn learn how to make your own net, and it's a great idea that you do. And that is that you learn with nylon. 
uh, no matter how many times I say this, I have people call me and, and email me that they're learning with Dacron. <laughs> oh boy, you're glutton for punishment. <coughs> that Dacron, it, it's hard to untie the knot, but you're going to make mistakes. When you're learning, I, I don't care who you are, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to have to untie a knot here and there. And uh, it's, they're hard to untie, but I have found out, and I'm going to show you a little bit about this in a minute, the white, that's white, uh, that's white Dacron there. The white has a tendency that not, those knots are easier to untie. They don't seem to uh, pull as tight as, as your colors. So, in, in, I don't like white uh, in, in the Dacron, but uh, people like it. You know, I get requests for white. I don't, normally I don't fool. I had this left over. I'm going to show you about that in a minute. But, uh, but anyway, I strongly suggest that you, uh, you go to learn with the, uh, uh, let me show you that. Okay. Uh, Memphis Dent and Twine ha handles all of your nylon and uh, uh, poly material for you. Got the I use a, qu a quarter inch solid braid nylon for the for the lead line for the, you know your sinkers go on. Uh, this comes in so many different sizes. Uh, I would suggest just starting at you, you use four number four and number five. And you don't have to get fancy and, and so many in one size in the top and I'll get into it at another time. It doesn't matter because you're just learning. Uh, and, and, uh, you, the first one you make, you're probably going to throw away anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's this comes from Memphis Net and Twine there in Memphis, Tennessee. Super people to deal with. They've got, the, I use a 3H poly on the hand line, uh, a hollow braid. Uh, 3H diameter. You can buy any length of this you want. They're not a. They don't. Don't go to whatever you do. Don't go to West Marine or one of those places, and and, and buy uh, your hand line because you're gonna pay a dollar a foot for it, and you get it from Memphis Net and Twine probably for for a quarter. <laughs> Anyhow, the other thing, the other product, I'll cover right quick, and that's uh, the. Uh, Braided Dacron. This is Nicron. This is uh, from Cortland. That's C O R T L A N D. Cortland line. If you want to look them up, you can buy directly from them off the off their website. I use a thirty pound test. This is called. This is Micron Flyline Backing. That's what that's what it's called. Micron Flyline Backing. Now they make other products. I mean, in, in, uh, they make several other products. But what I got, I got using this because they were out of one particular one. I ordered one time and they substituted. And I, I said, well, why do they do that? But they know what they're doing. And, and I've stuck with it because I like it better than the other one. But anyway, it comes in several colors. This is a, this is a peach. I love that color. It is, it's called pink. I'm sorry. It's, it's a pink. It is a uh, uh, kind of a rose color, it makes a beautiful net. And I use, I get the 20, uh, 2,500 yard spools. You're looking at 169 bucks. Uh, uh, Decron nets are gonna be expensive to make, but it's, it's well worth it, well worth it. Okay, Cortland, Cortland Fishing Line, look them up on the internet. And uh, uh, I use the Micron, Fly line, fly line backing. I'll get it right in a minute. All right, we're done with that. All right, enough of the commercial stuff. Uh, I want to demonstrate these knots to you. Uh, we did uh, this thing here. This, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, This old thing I've got here. This is an old raggedy uh, demonstrator. It's nylon, by the way. This is nylon that I used to demonstrate this stuff to you and demonstrate the two knots to you real quick. Uh, and what this is, get a look and see what I'm on, whether I'm on a wide enough because I don't want to, I want to continue doing it right. That's perfect because I can show you how to put in the wide 
anyway, I'm going to, you see what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart, I'm just going to stick that mesh board through that, I'll put a couple of meshes up on the, up on the board, and uh, the first knot, and I've talked about it, it's, it's the Spanish knot, that's the common knot that's been around for a long, long time, um, my old Menorcan ancestors, the majority of them use this knot, uh, my oldest brother, rest his soul, he, uh, he got me into making, knitting with the, uh, what we call the English knot. All right, what am I doing? I'm talking too damn much. <laughs> Phil, don't stop. All right, I'm gonna pick up. The, I'm gonna pick up that mesh. I'm gonna bring it down, up tight against that board. Can you see that, Phil? I'm gonna come in tight. I come in tight. I'm gonna angle this thing where you can see it. Okay. I pull that mesh down. You want that mesh tight against that board. Don't don't come up there with it loose like that. Because if you do, you're gonna have a slip knot. You don't want slip knots. Pull it up nice and tight. I'm gonna throw a, a loop. Come in between, and I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna tie that knot, and I've tied it up on top of that loop. It won't slip. There's another way to do this. You pick this up. You bring it down. You hold it. I'm gonna throw a loop. I'm gonna come in between. I'm going to come right back and come in between again a second time. This is going to tie a double knot. That's a better knot. However, it's slower. And doubling that won't stop you from tying a slip knot. You still have to tie it up on top of that loop. But anyway, it's kind of a bulky knot. But it does tie really, it tie, does tie a good knot. One more time, I'm just going to tie this one one more time and we're going to move on. I'll pull that thing down nice and tight. This is the the old Spanish knot. I'm gonna come in between there just one time. What is that? My phone. <laughs> okay. With that said, with that said, next I want to show you the flying dustman, which we showed you on here. Uh, that's a diagram out of a 1771. That's a long time ago, guys. I can tell you that line, if you if you picked up on that line, the diameter of that line and the date, the era that that was done, that was linen. Okay? That material had to have been linen. Now, we're gonna start with the flying, we're gonna start with the flying dustman. Now, this one is it's uh, uh, it's been around. All right, now this is this is the one a little more to it. You go around that little finger. I'm gonna make that loop, same kind of loop, and I'm gonna come in on the back side of that loop that I'm holding tight. I'm pinching it, but with my thumb. I don't know what you, what finger you call that. The first finger. Index. Index finger. I'm pinching that tight. Come on the back side. I'm gonna pick up that loop. I'm gonna bring this down. Hold it tight against that board. This is the key to mastering. This knot is keeping it tight. But when you start to pull it and you feel pressure pulling against that little finger, that's when you're going to let it go and pull it all one motion and you tie that real pretty nice knot to stay, so that it stays tight. I'm going to come around. All right. I'm going to pick up that mesh. I'm messing right around here, Michael. I went right by the wider. All that damn talking, I went by the wider. And I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. This is this is a, like I say. This is just a a uh, a play thing. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm tying. I'll, I'll do that later. I'm I'm gonna stop right here. And I'm going to continue that on, on the net. I started, like I said, I was going to get back in the, in the business. And what I've done here, I'm going to touch on this, is uh, this is this is this is braided acron. This micro, this is the line that I was been talking about. I started this net yesterday. Uh, that's pretty. That's a, a five eighths mesh, five eighths from knot to knot to 18 rows to the foot. 
where the mullet net's 12. So you can see how much longer why well, you have to, you know, be more involved in, in making a uh, bait net or shrimp net, whatever you want to call it. Now this net, what I've done, I have run out of cord. I fill my needle. I'm going to tie back in. I want to show you about this. I've talked about this before. I want to, I've got to find where my knot was. You look around. Sometimes it's hard to see because it's small. If you do it right, it's going to be small. Oh, come on. Hmm. You believe that, guys? Good night. I hope. I hope. I hope my buddy J J D is watching this. If he watches this, he's gonna get a laugh out of this. <laughs> oh God! He, there it is. It is small. But anyway, that that's where I run out of cord. Hold on, stay. And I tied the tail. Can you see that thing? See that knot? You picking up on it? Yeah. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna catch that like like this, and I'm just gonna simply do this. Go half and half and half. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna restart on the back side. You wanna do this periodically, by the way. Do this periodically. Now this is a widening row coming up. So I'm gonna start one mesh. This side, this would be just like if I was just starting to put widenings in. Remember I talked about that? with the other net. <coughs> I'm going to come in here, one mesh on the inside, so I'm going to tie, tie in, and when you tie in, uh, I don't know, I don't think we've ever covered this. I had a guy ask me one, one time on the tail, he says, if you're going to make a seven foot net, when you start, he says, do you have a seven foot tail? Uh, no. Uh, no, you don't. You just want a little short tail starting, but once you get away, you want to extend probably three or four feet because you're going to be cutting out. You're not. You're not going to. You're not going to keep going. See, I got what's that? About three or four foot. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do? You see, I just run it through that mesh. I'm going to just take this thing, hold it with my fingers. I'm going to throw a single loop. I'm going to come around. I'm going to tie that knot right up on top of that mesh, and that's it. I'm ready to start. I'm going to take my mesh board and I'm going to take that mesh board and I'm going to slide it right up against that tail. Remember we hear me talk about that. That's how you start the net. This is how you start the continuation of that circle. You're going to run up here, up against that, that mesh board and I'm going to take and I'm going to tie the first knot. This is if you were just starting your widenings in the net. Alright, I'm going to tie that now. I'm going to put in a widen. Come in between. You see that okay, Phil? It's showing yeah. up. Yeah. I'm going to come in between this. And I do this twice. You have to double tie widenings. No ifs, no buts, no ands about it. You have to double tie widenings. Uh, because if you don't, they will slip. Guaranteed they'll slip. What I'm gonna do, see, I'm tilting that board like this because I want to tie that knot right up on the top of that leading edge. And then I'm gonna a little quick tie and I've got the first wide in there. I don't think I need to go any more on that. Uh, Just spread out the, the knot so that you see it goes in between the mesh. What's that? Uh, where you put the, uh, the, the winding to show them how it's sitting. Well, I'll have to go ahead and knit, uh, knit up to the next one if I do that. No, just uh, that's fine. That's fine the way it is. Well, I can just demonstrate. Let me just I can demonstrate what you're talking about. I, I know what you're talking about. What Phil's asking me to do is to show again how you put in. Okay. You're gonna go in between 
the mesh you just tied and the next one you're going to tie. That's where you go right in between it like that and you bring this down and you, you tie the knot. I can't tie it because I've already... Yeah, you really got, you got the winding yeah. in there. So I'm going to just back out. Now, uh, putting in them winding, you don't have to do that double thing like I did. You can just simply double tie it. When, when you tie that winding, tie one and then come back and just tie another one. In fact, that's the way I did it for years. Okay, I think, uh, I think I've covered everything that I really uh, want to cover on this stuff today. I'm taking up your time, I've showed you the material. Told you all about the uh, where to get the material from. Everything I think. Uh, do you understand that about about that that first winding row? That first winding row is what you. It's so important that you get those perfect because that's going to set the tone for the whole net. If you're off on that first one, you're whole. You're going to be off the whole net. If you don't catch it and know how to correct it. Now, anytime, anytime that you guys run into any kind of issue, if, if you run into a stumbling block, just the best thing to do is call me. Uh, area code 904-217-7974. And tell me what you did and I can, I can tell you how to correct it. If you miss a widen, and, and discover that you totally just missed one and went all the way around, put in another two rows, and you come around to the point where you put in your next one, and it's not there because you forgot to put it in. I can tell you how to correct that. Any little mistake, anything you run into, you're gonna have to untie the knots yourself now. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you how to show you how to untie a damn knot, but but anyway. I Good. think I think we've covered I think we've covered everything. Yep. Uh, back in the business, I had a guy uh, email me uh, yesterday from Australia. I get a few people from Australia. I've dealt with people in Australia. Uh, they they cry about the shipping. I can't control the price of shipping. Anyway, anyway, wanted a twelve foot five eighths mesh net. I don't make. I limit my. Bait nets to eight feet, mullet nets to ten foot. All right. Well, that said, Phil's telling me I got to uh, talk too damn much, so we're gonna shut this thing down. The next time I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, uh, a bag net. I don't make bag nets, but I'm gonna show you uh, how to make a bag net.